conservation, you know, and it's coming to destroy our water, our our land. It's it's criminal that corporate capitalism is what's running our, our political infrastructure now, and and it's just the time for people to speak up and insist upon an ethical world, and for leaders to actually. Um, be brave and and be leaders and do what is right for the people, for the for the earth, for all other living things. This was even in the white man's constitution. This country was supposed to be for the people, by the people, not for the corporations, by the profits. You know, mm -hmm. it was supposed to be a, a, a promising uh, health to all people. Uh, no matter uh, your, excuse me, guys, no crazy. Uh, <laughs> um, no matter your, you know, your sex, race, religion, um, uh, genetic background, um, age, uh, persuasion, uh, or, or uh, I mean, it's it's just uh, uh, we're, we've turned into a, a, a world that is that respects uh, the, the dollar sign. Uh, over everything, over life. I want to ask you as an Indian, um, do you have the fear that you take away again your country or your part of your land? How do you feel about that? It's like an invasion, what happened? What are your feelings about that, especially as an Indian? Well, the United States is every day taking something away from us. And, you know, th this is just another part, you know, with this pipeline coming through, you know, Taking away our and you know our water, our land, you know, destroying a lot of these places that they're going to come through is old burial grounds of our people that are buried there, and they're going to disturb those grounds. Well, I ask you, I, I'm from Germany, but I would consider you as a real cowboy. Is this true? Or? Uh, yeah, I'm a real cowboy. <laughs> Rode saddle broncs, pack horses and mules. I'm from an old ranching family, five generations in South Dakota on my mother's side. Is this something symbolic that you really reunite with the Indians to I, write for them for one political issue or together? I think it's a good excuse to show solidarity with our native brothers. Um, there's been so much acrimony between the whites and Indians in South Dakota and the Midwest. It's something that I've, my whole life, have worked against. I've, I feel great solidarity with the First Nations people. And also, as my family's been um, connected with agriculture and the land, I've always felt a strong connection with the land. And what's going on with the Excel pipeline is just totally unacceptable. And what, what it will do to um, make man-made climate change worse is unacceptable. So it's time time to uh, to get together and make positive change and make good things happen for a change. And it would be a good thing to stop the Excel pipeline. So you want really to show that you stand with your Indian folks together? Definitely. I have the last question to three of you. If you had a chance to talk all of, to all Americans right now, everybody would listen to you. What would be your message to them? I would say that we have solutions available to us to the crises that we face. Um, we have ethical solutions. Um, and so get informed and, um, and insist upon them and incorporate them into your Day lives wherever and whenever you can, and uh, speak out and take action when you see an injustice. You know, there's uh, something that we need to tell President Obama is that not to sign that permit for the Excel pipeline. From a nation to nation, from the Lakota Nation to the United Nations to the United States, don't sign the agreement with the Excel pipeline. You're doing also a documentary about the American dream. How would you describe your personal American dream? The American dream is, is not to see industry take over Western South Dakota. And, and we see it happening now. And, and I, I like to introduce one of our councilmen, mm -hmm. Russell Eagle Bear. Mm -hmm. He's right here. You know, you could ask him a few questions too. And we will do it immediately, else. just to the 
Sorry, I don't know your name so far. I call you oh. Cowboy. Sorry, no, I don't want to be rude. So. <laughs> cowboy is good. That's a good nickname. I'm used to Cowboy. Some people call me Ringer. Okay. My real name is Eric Ringsby. Nice Eric to meet Ringsby. you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so would you, if you could talk to all Americans, what would be your message? My message would be that renewable energy is patriotic and thinking that you have to uh, support oil and gas or somehow you're some sort of... Uh, you know, strange, liberal, whatever. I don't think it's an issue that's red or green, red or blue. It's a green issue that's just, it's, that's good for everybody. And renewables, uh, like wind, they're using the wind resources in Indian country is a great start. Um, I just think that it's time to take control back of our country from the oil companies and these other big corporations and, and uh, renewable energy is a good way to go. The climate change is real, folks. And uh, this XL pipeline is very, very dangerous. Um, James Hansen of NASA said that this could be the final nails in the coffin for man-made climate change, making it irreversible. And I think that it's important for Americans to start paying attention to science instead of people who are anti-science. And um, I wish that people in our country would start thinking with our brains instead of being swayed by these emotional politicians. And what is your personal American dream? My personal American dream is to um, to, to heal Mother Earth. That is my dream. My dream is to make a personal difference where I felt like, I could feel like I could went to my grave, that I made a difference for Mother Earth. Thank you so much. Good luck. I hope you will be successful. Thanks for talking to us. So, that's what you ate from the pferd. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Thank you. Hi, Tom. Yes. If we um